All right, we should be recording. I see the speakers going, and this is all goodness. Anyway, I'm documenting all this so I have it in the future. I have an IMT 560 uh, tractor from Yugoslavia, and I'm updating the fuel system to uh, have an electronic uh, fuel pump with a uh, regulator. Here is the old system. Let me bring it over and get it in front. I've cut the pipes off because I had to take the fittings. But what I'm going to do is uh, basically block off the interface for the eccentric pump that pumps back and forth. It isn't working right. And uh, install in its place an aluminum plate with my new electronic fuel pump and uh, regulator and the other assemblies along with a filter. So with the IMT 560 unfortunately it uh, doesn't use MPT. It has a M14 type of uh, <clears throat> connections. I don't know if you can see that but basically it's straight. It's not like your typical NTP type of connections that taper. All right. So I got these parts on order and this uses a double uh, flare that I'm going to have to make work to get it back in using the uh, steel pipe. I went to Napa and the steel pipe I'm going to use, it's uh, flipping her around. It's a Napa I don't know if I can read it here or not. You should be able to. It says 813-1233. It's just simply a 5 16 uh, pipe. I don't know if that shows up there or not. Sorry about that. I'll figure out how to use my camera to get high definition stuff at some point. But anyway, I'm still trying to learn it. It is literally new. I need to see how much memory the camera uses and the like. This is a don't care. This is a pipe. This is a pipe cutter. I'm going to use to cut one end of the pipe. <clears throat> now to install, what I'm going to be changing or replacing is this whole assembly where we have a, uh, I may need to get one of these, a stop for turn off the fluid, uh, a, uh, a, a filter. This is to catch uh, moisture and water. And then the, the pump, the output is uh, here. My intent, and I got to look up and get a fuel cutoff uh, valve, is to install a in series with it all a fuel filter which I've marked to uh, basically to be in line with the uh, prior to the the facet fuel pump that I'll get to in a second. And the filter I chose because I have a Kubota lawnmower, it's a, just a Kubota fuel filter. So that's going to be the uh, first device. Then I have a, uh, a fuel pump. This is the part number for the fuel pump. It, uh, I hope that's the right direction. I have this camera that I'm looking at and I've flipped it in the handle so I think it's right. It should be a 40222. It's a facet. 12 volt pump. It also has a uh, fuel filter and a, and a uh, unit that can be removed similar to what you saw on the other unit. It runs off 12 volts. And I chose this fuel pressure regulator. This is a uh, AEI 13205. It's a uh, automotive uh, pressure uh, regulator. It has for double barrel carburetors, which of course a diesel tractor doesn't have, two uh, uh, feed, fuel feeds. Fuel goes in, fuel goes out. You use this to regulate the, uh, the pressure and I'm still deciding whether I need to get a gauge for this that could possibly break or if I need to put something in like a Schrader valve so I can just check the fuel pump when I need it. I mean the goal is to have not the problem I have with the old system 
but they have a totally reliable, uh, good uh, electric fuel pump and, and regulator. There's some other stuff I'll show you here that I'm using. Uh, basically, this is to get a 90 degree off the pump. I'll show it once I have it all assembled. And I'll show you the template of the aluminum plate I'm going to basically make. And what else do I got here? Oh yeah, I got some Permatex uh, thread sealant. They suggested or said the requirement for this was to use the uh, paste for the uh, fuel pressure regulator. And I'm sorry, I apologize. I'll hopefully get better at doing this. But that's it. So I'm going to start drawing some things out. Literally, I plan on stacking the uh, fuel pressure regulator and pump just like this to save space and make an aluminum bracket that will fit over, cover the eccentric mechanism that goes into the tractor, have the aluminum plate that will bolt into those two bolts. So it's kind of one assembly. That's what I'm shooting for. And uh, let's see, I guess that's that's about it for the first go around. I need to stop and check the memory on the camera, how much I've used and see if I can get it to work with video editing software tonight. And then I need to get to work on, on this because I got to change oil for my neighbor in the morning. Thank you.